I'm such a dumbass. I don't know my hotkeys at all. <laughs> so I hope this is picking up my voice. And I hope it's working. Okay. Yeah, so I had the same exact issue and I fixed it. <clears throat> Let me pull up and reshade real quick. Um, okay, so... I don't have the effects off. Oh! <laughs> A little crazy. Okay, so with like Adolf, Adolf, A D O F. Okay, um, I usually use the cinematic one, um, but we will, we will do both. Okay, so. This is a good tool to use sometimes if you are not, oh, that must, that's my dog. Um, I don't know if it's picking it up. Jesus Christ, Pippa! Sorry. <laughs> okay, so type in display depth and it'll see the shader helps you set the right pre-processor settings for depth input. So this can kind of help um, give you an idea of like, what's working and what's not with the depth. Um, it should tell you in this area right here where it says reshade depth input is upside down, reshade depth input is reversed. That's That may be the one that you're dealing with because that's the issue I had. Um, it was saying the, the, it had like the, the near blur curve and then that far blur curve like reversed with each other so it says reshade depth input is reversed let's say that's the one I'm dealing with you don't necessarily have to have display depth on for this because you will know immediately just by having this on like your uh, your depth of field option um, so what you're gonna want to do and you may want to just have the display depth option pulled up because it does kind of tell you you know what to do so what you're okay so next you're gonna want to go up to this option where it says edit global preprocessor definitions and it's gonna say the same options here as it does in this area okay so what I did to fix this issue, because it was reversed, and I see that it says here, um, if close objects in the depth map are bright and the far ones are dark, um, which means I guess they have the near and the far blur like confused, then you set it um, to zero. I have it set on one right now, um, which I don't know why, because I thought that was my issue, but maybe it's not. But still, this should, oh, this is what it was. It was the depth input is upside down, I think. I don't know. It's. It can be like you know a bitch to work with, but I found that if you if you have this like option on this display depth option, and then um, go to the preprocessor definitions and try to mess around with that, that can help a lot, and sometimes it can solve the issue. So I will show you like what it'll do. So if I press zero, and then it, uh, it's going to reload it again. Um, so yeah, it's fucked up now. It's not properly, you know, it's, it's fucked up. Um, so I'm going to set it back to one. Oops, not one. One. And it's going to fix the issue. It's going to be much like crispier and the lines are going to be picking it up correctly. Okay, 
So, another thing to look at, if this doesn't solve your issue, then I want you to go to add-ons in this next area. And I guess make sure, I don't know what all of it means, but um, this can help fix some issues too. Um, I found, no, it doesn't always fix everything. As you can see, it's not really doing a whole lot. Um, oh, see, look, I don't know. I don't know, it, it, like I said, it can be very weird, as you know, so you kind of need to just mess around with these options until, you know, it, it, it works. But I think, I think this will fix your issue for every game, not just this one. Anyway, sorry for the long, drawn-out explanation. I'm not very good at explaining things. 